is up phaser network this is charpin boy 95 and i have a nice little gameplay commentary for you i have a nice little 60 and 12 i believe kill confirmed on resistance i am running assault my kill streaks i'm running are predator missile reaper and osprey gunner my perks i'm running are sleight of hand quick draw and dead silence pro and i normally don't run these these perks but the people in this lobby were trying pretty hard the game before with this type of class so I decided to teach them how to play a little bit and well as you guys can probably see from this gameplay I taught them how to play the game and they were not happy after the game was over because I ended up getting a five-man feed with a predator then the next one was the next kill I got was a triple with a reaper and then i ended up getting a multi-kill with the osprey gunner so pretty good game by my standards um not the greatest i could have probably had a 60 and 5 if i didn't have some bs deaths that i had in the game but oh well it is what it is um so in my introduction video i want to tell you guys a little bit about myself the content i upload and a little story that i found on the internet so i upload about four to five times each week um, I have around 100 subs right now as I sit. I've been doing commentary since about January of this year. So, I mean, I'm not sitting at the sub count that I would like to sit at, but, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm just doing it for fun. I, I mean, my channel just hasn't gotten the right exposure that I should have gotten a long time ago that I've been told by multiple people. So, I mean, I mean I've just been waiting for that one break, and that's all I can do. So... What else can you do about waiting on that break? So, while I'm waiting on that break, we're going to commentate over it real quick. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to tell you guys a little story that, and I just got the rant. Um, I came across a few weeks ago, and it, it's pretty crazy. I'm, I'm going to warn you that it's weird as hell. So, I read on this article, and it the title of the article is Octomom 2.0. And I had to read that because, I mean, another person having, like, what, eight babies it is? So I started reading it, and it's not what you would think it is. Octomom 2.0 main really means um, a 63-year-old South Korean woman got pregnant after she ate squid at a restaurant. And it sounds totally insane, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. That's what I said. So... She was eating a portion of calamari, and apparently what the doctors said, doctors and scientists, I should say, they said that when she was eating this calamari and squid, that um, part of the organisms on the squid were actually eggs from those squid that were killed. And um, what happened was, is like the male ends up, licking or putting I don't know his sperm on the female by either penis or mouth it's really weird like it's so creepy I don't know how it happened but this ended up happening and she ended up having 12 baby squid in her mouth and the way these squid were in her mouth were they were stuck to her gums and her cheeks and it, it, it was it they weren't entirely formed they were really small and basically like a small organism stuck on her jaw and lips and tongue and all that stuff and um she felt uh some kind of foreign object in her mouth moving and that's what she's described as it it didn't sting or anything it, it was just some foreign object in her mouth was moving and it sounds so creepy. I mean, I, I would not want to have some foreign object moving around in my mouth. That just sounds like something I would not want to have happen to my mouth right here. And I just want to say this baller, get a stun grenade kill. And, um, I mean, it's just that creepy. Oh, here's the five-man predator. Wait for it. Wait. That five, five people. Five people with the predator. And 6v6 skill confirm. Just want to, want to say that right there. And then, um... This right here was pretty good. I blew up the cars. Wait for it. Boom. Explosion. Triple kill. So, um, I mean, just the whole story that happened. Um, lady gets impregnated by eating calamari and squid. It's just, it's totally out there. But, I mean, it just, it shows it's random stuff like this could happen. I mean, weird stuff like this could happen. And 
it's just you never know when it's going to happen and how it's going to happen. It's just I, – I really don't know how to explain it. Like just some – like, it, it kind of makes me not want to eat squid, even though I've never eaten it before. I mean, I, I kind of just, like, want to say, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to eat squid right here. And that's it. I don't want to get pregnant. I don't want to be the first male pregnant, I guess it would be. I don't know. It's kind of creepy. Like, how would you describe a male getting impregnated by the mouth from squid? I mean, would that count as the first man getting pregnant ever? I mean, what would you guys say about that? Would you guys count that as you know that i mean i i don't know like it just it just sounds so far out there it's it's just so crazy and so radical that you wouldn't think it could actually happen but in turn reading this story it can happen and it has happened before i mean you get pregnant by a little organism sticking to the side of your mouth and when I first started reading the story, I thought that, like, she ate the squid and the squid were forming in her stomach and stuff like that. that that's just out there. But this isn't as bad as what I thought the story would actually be. And, you know, even though it's not as crazy as I thought, it's still still pretty creepy how this story ended up and how it started. And I, I just really have to say that that is one of the creepiest stories that I have ever read on the internet. And probably won't be the last creepy story that I read on the internet. I'm just going to throw that out there. So, as you guys can see, I am just murking kids in the Osprey Gunner right here on Resistance, and I didn't think I was going to get it, but I ended up getting it, and my teammates were pretty happy because they ended up getting like a Reaper and Pavlo out of the care packages that are dropped. And normally, with an Osprey Gunner, it doesn't drop good care packages like that. It normally drops like, I don't know, like UAV and stuff like that, and not uh high assault streaks like that I mean, and my teammates were happy that we ended up just murking the other team i mean we sh should have had a better win than what we actually had but teammates just don't like to grab tags and i i like to grab tags under certain circumstances like if i know that i'm going to be able to grab that tag and without having a risk of getting killed i'm going to go grab it and but if I think that there's a possibility that I can get killed or possibly kill, like a high possibility that I'll, I can get killed. I'm not going to go out there and, and get it unless I have teammates backing me up. But when it comes down to it, and if we might lose the game, I'm going to do everything I can to win that game. I mean, a few nights ago, I was in the I was in a kill confirmed lobby. I forgot what map it was, but we ended up winning the game by one point, one tag. Because at the end, I took off my, like, M16 or something and put on, like, a PP90 and just started rushing the spawn for tags, and we won by one tag. The enemy team, they were not too happy about that. And that's another thing at the end of this commentary I want to talk about is um, people playing the objective. I mean, not many people play the actual objective anymore. And the only time that people actually play the objective is in, like, I don't know, what is it, um, clan ops. And... I noticed that a few weeks ago. Like, I was in a kill confirmed clan ops, and people just kept grabbing tags. Like, you could not get in there with, like, you could not grab, like, the actual amount of tags you should be able to grab in an actual game. Unless the people were not in a clan. But, I mean, it, if you don't play in clan ops, people just don't want to play the objective. They don't want to cap flags. The only objective that they're playing is getting kills. The only objective that's going to do, or only game type that works in, is kill confirmed and, um, TDM, so I guess it's a little rant about PTFO, play the effing objective, kids. That's all I want to get across here at the end of this game, and I think it was Rika138, got a mountain, got a nice little Moab in this game, and I um, want to give him a little shout out for getting a nice little Type 95 Moab. I've been trying to get one myself, but I always get killed on like a 20 kill streak, which drives me nuts. I've died on a 20 with the Type 95 in the past two weeks, probably about like five, six times. I don't know. And it's just insane like that. So as I get the final clutch kill for the 60 bomber at the end, ugh, that is a 60 and 12 regular kill confirmed gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. Smack that like button below. Come over and check my channel out. Subscribe. Every Saturday night, I do have a podcast on my podcast channel. Come to my channel. Look up it up. Check it out. Turbo 95. I'm out here. Peace.